Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome to the 2015 ALDS. Your New York Yankees are at home taking on the Detroit Tigers and looking to get to the ALCS with their new rookie, Rusty Rogers at shortstop. He was the future of the Yankees, looking to take over the spot after Derek Jeter retired and was drafted in the second round. And the future has come much quicker than anticipated as Rusty is already in the big leagues with the Yankees, part of a uh, team that had three teams entered into the playoffs this year. Red Sox and Rays faced off in the wild card game. Red Sox won that. The Yanks have 92 wins. Tigers have one less at 91. So just barely getting home field is the Yankees. And they come in. And they're going to have to face off against a couple of big players. David Price, Miguel Cabrera. Uh, Justin Verlander is a bit older, so he has gone down, but uh, those two, David Price and Miguel Cabrera, are going to be two forces to reckon with, as we are going to be showing you guys all of the games needed in the ALDS this year. It could be three, it could be four, it could be five, we don't know, but we do know that this is going to be a very good series between two teams with, um, oh, I guess they used to have a lot of star power, um, the Detri Detroit Tigers are hanging on to the last bit of it and the Yankees have a little bit um, in real life they probably wouldn't make the playoffs but they do in this game and that is what we're focusing on here's the lineup for the Detroit Tigers Davis Iglesias Cabrera Martinez Cespedes in the five hole that just shows you how deep they are in power Martinez Kinsler Castellanos and Avila as we look at now the starting rotation for the Yanks Tanaka Sabathia Pineda Iovaldi and Capiano is going to round out the top five Although we probably won't use Capiano, as we will probably have a four-man rotation. This is the lineup for the Yankees. You see Rusty is sitting at number two in the lineup as A-Rod is batting eighth. You see he still has C potential, 82 overall. You think that would have gone up to a B by now, but he is 18 years old. We're going to have to see how he's going to take his first playoff experience. As you see, most of the games are underway, pretty much all in the NL. Um, as the Mets lose to the Pirates in the wild card in the NL and the Tampa Bay Rays lose to the Red Sox in the AL so this is gonna be a tough one here we go game one here at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx Yankees and Tigers coming into this one as Rusty Rogers only a couple months actually really only one month of MLB experience and he just gets thrown right into the playoffs so we're gonna have to see whether he struggles or if he uh, likes the bright lights and all the attention and succeeds so we'll have to see there this is kind of cool. This is my first time I've ever played in the playoffs with one of my Road to the Show characters. For whatever reason, I just never made it. I've just been on bad teams. So, kind of cool to jump right in here and get it going as David Price and Masahiro Tanaka are going at it tonight. This is a big matchup as these two aces are set to go. And here we go. 2015 ALDS, Yankees, Tigers, Yankee Stadium. Rusty Rogers hitting 264 here with two homers and 20 RBIs in one month. So, you know, he's not supposed to hit homers. That's good, too. And he's up to bat now. First at bat of the playoffs and in his playoff career. That's going to be a ground out to second. And uh, oh, it's all right. I guess we have to get up next time. 12 points for the at bat. He's in the field now. He yanks up one nothing here in the third. No one on, no one out. And that is the first out for Rusty. So a nice job there. Looking comfortable in the field, at least. As... Um, He'll get 16 points for the fielding opportunity. And now he's back up at the plate. Yanks still up 1-0 with runners on first and second. No one out. First pitch of the at-bat is smacked into right center. It's high. It's deep. But it's not deep enough. Right fielder catches that one. And that is it for the at-bat. Rusty will only get 12 points. So a bit disappointing there. But, uh, oh, man. The Yankees are still... Playing pretty well behind him as now they're up 5 nothing. Now runners on second and third for Rusty with two outs. Full count now in the fourth. And he's going to hit this one right over to second. I thought that could squeeze through, but it didn't. Man, that's just tough. Tough luck so far. Can't get a base hit. Almost one there, but uh, he won't beat out the throw. He will get a good amount of points for that at bat, though. I think that was like 33 or something. So he'll come in now. Inks still up by 3. 6-3, six, three, bottom 7, one out. No one on the bases. Rusty's taking this one deep to center. Man, he is hitting the ball well today. It's just in the wrong spots. 
21 points for that at bat. You do get boosts for the playoffs. But man, that's just tough luck. However, the Yankees still play very well behind a win by four. Eight to four, the final score. Rusty goes 0 for four, so not a very good debut for him. Although, aside from the 0 for four, he did play very well. So here we go in game number two. Still at the Bronx, Yankees looking to take a commanding 2-0 series lead as the Tigers are looking to head back home to Detroit with the series knotted up at one apiece. But we will have to see here as Rusty is still looking for his first uh, career playoff hit here in the 2015 ALDS. But um, you know what? I guess if he's playing well in the field, it doesn't matter, although we would like them to get a hit. So let's try to do that in this game. CC is about the up for the Yanks. He's 13-5. Here is the bracket so far in the postseason. You see the Red Sox up 2-0 on the Angels, which is crazy because the Red Sox we're in the wild card game. And the Nets and the Pirates are tied up at one, and so are the Dodgers and the Cardinals, I believe that was. So here is Rusty in the field, looking to get the out here, and he does. Still working on that arm strength, but it gets the job done anyways, as he sees Bathe, see the scouting report on him. As Rusty will get 60 points for the fielding opportunity, and he comes into this one 0 for 4 so far in the series. Still looking for that first hit. Can he get it now? Bottom of the first. No one on, one out, 0-1 pitch is popped right up. Just uh, past second base there as right fielder will come in and make the catch. So still without a hit now, 0 for 5 is Rusty. He's just got to keep his head on straight. You know, he's got a field, and if he cannot make any errors, you know, maybe they can take him not hitting. 1-1 one, one now in the bottom of the third. Runners on first and second. Again, a very well hit ball by Rusty. It doesn't look deep enough, and it isn't. Uh, about halfway through the outfield so not a bad hit ball just a little too high there got under it a bit too much as Rajay Davis makes the catch 4-1 now Yankees still playing well behind Rusty see what he can do now 0 for 6 so far in the series runners on first and second two outs one two pitch and he is swinging and missing that is a strikeout unless he can beat it out no he doesn't that was close but uh, yeah he'll get two points for the at bat and it was a poor one because he did strike out 4-1 Yankees, top of the fifth, base is empty, Rusty's in the field. Again, you just got to make these. If you can make these, if we can make these, if Rusty can make these, throws over to first and getting the outs without any errors, then we are good. It's now 5-1 Yankees, bottom of the seventh, here comes Rusty looking for his first hit. Can we get it here with the runner on first? No. And the runner gets doubled off. Oh my gosh, this luck is starting to turn pretty bad now. Look at 12 points for the at-bat. It goes right to second. Again, a very well-hit ball, but it doesn't matter. The Yankees still playing well. They win this one 8-1. Verlander with the loss. CeCe Sabathia with the win. Rusty still without a hit. So we will transition over to Detroit, Michigan for game number three. The Tigers must win this one if they want to continue in the series, but if the Yankees win... They will move on to the ALCS against either the Red Sox or the Angels, which right now is looking like the Red Sox because they're up 2-0 in the series. Boy, would that be an even better series than this one, Red Sox and Yankees. We'll have to see, though. Not trying to get too ahead of ourselves as Alfredo Simon, Simone, I don't think it's Simon, it's Simone, comes to the plate, 15 and 11 on the season, as Rusty is uh, he's not doing too bad. Uh, aside from the hitting part, he's playing well in the field, and that's what they need. So here we go, top of the first, no one on base with one out, and he is hitting this one over to third, and uh, yeah, the streak continues, and it's not a good one. What is that, 0 for 9? 0 for 3 so far today. This is just a bad game altogether. We resume to the top of the eighth, the Yankees losing by 8. It's 10-2 to two Tigers. As they look to live another day, and yeah, the streak still continues. Just a bad day altogether for Rusty. Out of all the games so far, even though he hasn't got a hit, this is probably the worst one. You can see Joe Girardi, the manager, not too happy. Probably with the whole team, but especially with Rusty, as he's in the number two hole and not has not got a hit yet. He's 0 for 4 now in this game. And we will move to game number four. The series is 2-1 to one in favor of the Yankees. They can end it today, or the Tigers can force a game Five in the Bronx. We'll see here as Rusty has to get something done. I know the fielding is good, but he can't go out in the series without a hit. He can't. He has to get at least one. Come on. We need this. Two more games. Let's just start with this one. Let's try to win this game and more importantly, get a hit. David Price back on the mound for the Tigers as he's 15 and 8 on the season. And here comes Rusty. Top of the first, runner on first, no outs. 
0 for 12 on the series. Make it 0 for 13. Ah, uh, this sucks. This really does suck. Two points for the at bat. And now he's 0 for 2 so far. We're going to fast forward. Top of the fifth. Yankees are up 1 0. So that's good to see. But Rusty needs a hit. And he can't do it. He pops this one straight up behind home plate. And he's out. Man, 0 for 15 now. This is awful. 0 for 3 so far. This is his last at bat of the game, unless it goes to the extras, which it actually could. 1 0 Yankees. Rusty is not going to get a hit. He hits this one over to Miggy, and he is now 0 for 16 on the series. Yankees now up 2 0 here in the top of the ninth. Runners on second and third with two outs. Rusty. Trying to go one for 17, and he won't as that bat shatters, and he is thrown out by the pitcher. And that is it. Bottom of the ninth. Runners on first and second. This could be a double play ball. He flips to second. Now the flip to first, and the Yankees are the 2015 ALDS champs. They are moving on to the ALCS, and they will face either the Angels or the Red Sox. We will have to see as Rusty Rogers played like crap, but his team didn't. They come through, win the series in four. As you see, the Tigers a bit upset with themselves, and the Yankees, meanwhile, are headed to the ALCS. That is good to see them back there, especially if you're a Yankees fan. Um, even though the future for them at the shortstop didn't get a hit, he did pretty well in the field. He didn't have any errors. Made the throws he was supposed to make, and that is it. So the Yankees will be taking on the Red Sox in the ALCS. That is right. Yankees and Red Sox, that's going to be an awesome series. Hopefully Rusty can get a hit. He went the whole series without getting a hit. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead. Make sure you come back for more. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.